So at some point in time when you're working with the unit, you're going to have an issue with these valve cores leaking. And typically I like to replace them at least every five years. Sometimes they're in good shape and all you got to do is simply use a valve core tool like this and you can put this tool in and you can tighten it or you can loosen it. You never want to pull that valve core out while the system is charged because you're going to lose all the refrigerant out to that port. So that's going to be a big issue. Let's say that this valve core is bad in bad shape. We can use a tool like this. This tool is going to be used for many things, but it's also going to be used for replacing valve stems or valve cores. So we're just going to thread this tool on. Now the tool is threaded on, nothing's happening. What we're going to do is make sure this end cap is tight. And I'm going to go ahead and take this off so you can see what it looks like. And right here, all this is is the valve core tool, just exactly like this one was. What we're going to do is put this back on. So our tool is attached and our valve is open. No refrigerants coming out because our valve core is inside. What we are going to do is push this valve in and we're going to lock it onto that valve core or that valve stem. Now I'm holding it with one finger and I'm twisting it with the other. As I'm twisting this, I'm unscrewing that valve core out of the system. The pressure pushes that all the way out. Now I'm going to take this valve and I'm going to close it off. This now closes the refrigerant from leaking out. Now if we're lucky, we unscrew this and our valve core should be right here on the end. Sometimes you have to take a second run at it. And this time we have it perfectly captured right here on the end. So this is our valve core. So this is our valve core. You can see how the tool holds that valve stem and then these pieces here will wear out over time or get dirty, especially when people don't treat their hoses or the caps well. But it's very simple for us to replace these. In the old days, we had to recover all the refrigerant out of the unit just to change this one part. But now we got these cool tools that make our life so much easier. So if I put the new one in, I just slap it in just like this one is. Notice I didn't touch this one. I don't want to contaminate it. We put it right on the very, very end. Now I'm going to open my valve core tool. Now I'm going to overcome the pressure with one finger and push, push this all the way past this valve back into this component here. And now as I start threading, I'm tightening this up. Don't want to over tighten it, just snug. I'm going to back my tool out because I cannot close my valve because this rod is in the way. I'm going to back the tool up. I'm going to close this valve. And just to make sure I got it in all the way, I like to take this loose and open this up very slowly to make sure no refrigerant's leaking out. That way I know I got it in all the way. Now I can take and unscrew my tool. No refrigerant's leaking out. So essentially, this piece threads on like so. Valve is open, we go through, we loosen our valve core, we pull it out, we shut the valve off, put a new valve core in, screw it on, open this valve, the tool slides past our valve here, and then we can thread the new valve core inside the system. Very handy. We're going to be using these also when we do recovery and vacuum for a faster recovering vacuum system. We also want to make sure we put the caps on. Again, I hate these plastic caps, but either way, we want to make sure that O-ring is in there. We do have the O-ring. We're going to thread it on the unit, make sure we're sealed and connected. Also, like to clean up any oil that may or may not be around the system so that it stays clean and nice for the next technician and it looks good for the customer.